In this video, we're going to look at how we can set up a server with AWS. So what we're going to do first is just log in, either register if you haven't got an account or log into your existing AWS account. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the search bar and type in EC2. And as you can see, virtual servers in the cloud, that's the one we want. We wait for that to open up. Go to launch instance. Add in a name. I'm just going to call mine test server one. We're going to quick start the the image we want to use is Ubuntu, which is the standard servers that are used for most web applications. That's perfect. And then the instance type T2 micro is perfect. So that's you've got with that, you usually have 12 months free. And then after that, it's 1.16 cents per hour. Next, we're going to create a new key pair. This is used to log in to the server. So we're going to just call it uh, test server one as well. Test server one key create pair that's going to download the private key onto our computer security groups we can leave the defaults there and storage eight gigs is perfect for most small applications okay so here we've got the summary we only want one instance we're going to use ubuntu 22.04 the server type is a t2 micro and we have eight gigs of storage with it so then we're going to go down and click the launch button and as we can see it's launching the instance a successfully initiated launch click here and it'll bring us to the instances page as we can see here it's a pending so it's just getting set up we can actually click on the at the name of it this brings us to the panel with all the details like the the public IP address which is going to be very important to connect to it and to use in future for connecting the server to different applications and from here as well we can also connect directly to our server once it's running so we just click the refresh button Okay, nothing has changed so we just have to wait for the instance state to change okay so as you can see the instance state is now running and we can connect to our server so what we're going to do is click the connect button up in the top right and we're going to change the username from Ubuntu to root so that we've got full root privileges and we can run anything if we left it as Ubuntu, we'd only have a set amount of privileges that we wouldn't be able to run every command we want. So username root, and then we click the connect button, and this is going to open a new tab, and it's going to create a session that's running on the server where we can um, type in any commands we want into the terminal that's running on the server. So here we are connected as a root user on our server. So we've set up a server and it's running and we've got this far which is great for the next part of the video we're going to connect our aws server to scrape ops so that we can then schedule our scrapey spiders so what we want to do is we want to go log in to scrape ops and uh, we want to go to our servers and deployment tab and we want to click add servers we're going to name it AWS server and for the IP address we're going to go back to our instance page and we're going to take the public IP address. This we're going to paste into the IP address section there. We're going to save the details and we're going to copy this line of text. We're going to go back to our console terminal page and we're going to paste that in and press enter and now this is going to take a minute or two just to get the 
server fully updated and everything installed and as we can see the steps are actually working their way through here at the checklist so we just have to give that a minute or two and then that'll be ready to go okay so now the server is fully provisioned and connected as you can see here and we've just received an email with the details saying that the server has been fully provisioned and it's ready to go the next step is we're going to go to our spider and we're going to that we have in github we're going to copy the link copy the url we're going to clone this repository and python is the language scrapey is the framework that we're using and the default install script should be fine it's just going to install a virtual environment activate the virtual environment and then install any of the python modules that are specified in the requirements file and install scrapey as well just in case it's not in the requirements file so click the clone repo button and it'll run through the three steps here of cloning the repo running the install script and then finding any scrapey spiders that are that are within the scrapey project so as you can see now the repo is finished being cloned and the spider is listed the demo spider we have here so the next step now is that we're going to schedule that spider to run we go to our scheduling page click schedule as we can see we've got aws server here which is the server name we've got the repository and we've got the spider so we can now set it to either run straight away if i click submit job it would run it straight away or we can set it to run at a specific time so let's get it to run um every day at let's say 9 a.m utc so this is utc time not your own local time so at 9 a.m and we're going to submit the job so that job is now scheduled and as we can see here you go we've got the demo spider on the aws server the ip address running at 9 a.m every day utc time and it's as easy as that so that's the final step you can easily disable the job from running the spider from running and um, by just clicking on the enable disable toggle here